Call to order, Ukiah Valley Sanitation District special meeting on Thursday, June 7th at 6 p.m. Uh, before we do roll call, let's um, do the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call please. Chair McNairlin? Present. Vice Chair Reed? Here. Director Witt? Director Bauckham? Here. Director Marshall? And Director Witt is absent um, by prior for prior readings. Thank you. And thank you for coming uh, to this special meeting, which we just called a few days ago. But it is um, pretty urgent that we address this. Um, so the next item is public expression. Anybody in the public seated in the gallery or around the corner wish to comment on anything that is not on the agenda? Seeing none, we will close public expression on non-agendized items and move to item number three, discussion and possible action regarding hiring of an interim district manager. And attached, you will see the resume of Mark De Molinaire. De Molinaire. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. De Molinaire. I've been here a few times this last week. Mr. De Molinaire. Um, our our part-time district manager is no longer with us. He won't be working for us anymore. Or won't be coming to Ukiah anymore. Um, he will consult with us as needed pro bono through a transition position uh, transition. Um, and because he does have all the knowledge about the litigation. He will help us pro bono with anything we need help with uh, regarding the district or uh, training a new interim district manager. Um, Mark was um, referred by uh, Willow Water District, and he's been working with Willow. And so I would just like to open it up to more discussion. And uh, maybe prior to that, um, Mark, do you have anything you would like to address the board, or do you want to just? Well, you have a resume, so I think that gives you a general outline of uh, the kind of work that I've done over the years. Uh, I've been in the county for over 40 years, moved up here in 77, raised my family. Uh, my daughter is here. Uh, my wife was a teacher at Frank Z for about 29 years. Uh, I've worked with Will, which is probably the most pertinent information that you need to, right now, and uh, I've enjoyed that relationship. When this came up, it seemed interesting, something that uh, hopefully uh, I can provide some service to the, to the district if you deem that uh, uh, appropriate. And uh, you know, I'm just pleased to be here. Thank you for calling the special meeting. And I'd uh, be glad to answer any questions you have. Thanks. Sure. And before I open it up to more discussion, yeah. if I may just say one more thing. Um, we are behind the eight ball on our budget on hiring an auditing firm to do those audits. Um, we need to get on top of the um, billing for the water. I've um, been working with John Dickerson, but it looks like that's not going to work out on him doing this. Um, Mark's background is fiscal. No sewer pipe background or, or sewer plant background, but he's got a fiscal background, and I believe that's really what we need right now, is to get our fiscal house in order. And so, um, I thought he would make a great candidate for an interim director, and I was hoping you guys would. Well, I, I had a, um, a little concern when, when I first brought forth um, someone for an interim, uh, I was reprimanded that I bypassed uh, regular channels that I didn't have advertised and that it could look bad that the board hired someone without advertising for an interim. And, uh, I don't know if you remember that, but you you um, pretty much you pretty much told me that, that that wasn't possible and why would you even do that? And that's not the that's not the the method the pattern that you're supposed to take to hire someone interim. So it just concerns me that um, we 
we have a lot we have a lot of problems with calculating with the city we need to calculate uh, sewer rates comparable like the city together with the city so we need someone with um, experience in in water plant operations and I brought this person forward um, a couple of months ago and I was shot down so I, I thought that we might consider this person too to um, so um, I, like I think Mark as a for um, for the financial part is is very well qualified and um, but we have a lot of problems that require people, someone who's real experience in sewer plant operations. And like I said, when I brought Colin's name forward, I was publicly I was publicly humiliated at a meeting that said I couldn't do that. And so I'm kind of confused. What's changed now? Why why we can just bring up names and hire somebody without? So I thought this was for district manager. Interim district, Regular district manager. interim district manager. It was an interim district manager position. That this I person has zero administrative background. But we need, yes. And that is where we are lacking. That's where Joe was really strong in plant and pop up plants and sewer lines, and all of our admin has fallen to the wayside. All of our fiscal. We haven't even met. Right. So, th so this person has a lot of experience in that too. I just no. thought, yeah, yes, he he has doesn't. licensing in senior plant water operations. He, he has several licenses. We and need somebody who knows auditing and somebody who knows I, the budget. I, I understand that, but we also need someone that can. Our need right now, this moment, is fiscal. Right now, this moment to get us through the next three six months is fiscal. We're behind on audits. We're behind on budget. We're behind on billing, on the calculations. You know. And um, I tried. I, I tried I, I to know. offer my services, and I was shot down again. And I have talked to a lot of board people, and they say well, you don't have people in place. Board members do work. Do the work. But we need some of the job. Fight for that. We need someone certified that and knows how it works because I, 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 went, I went to the city and I, I assure you I could do that work. No, I talked to the person who did it the last two years for us. I, I he said two. there, there are many to. accounts that don't match up. That's right. Like That's the first thing that you There's do. There's skeletons in the closet. That's the first thing that you do is you check all the names against the accounts. I went and I talked to I talked to him at length and I talked to the lady at the city, Lori, who does it, and I spent two hours and I have a good handle on how to do it. I'm just saying, and I asked you on the agenda here, I'm sorry to bring this up, that I want on the agenda for next week, discussion and possible actions for further steps to completing the new sewer rates, which are due in six weeks. And I said, if you have someone already working on it, you don't have to put it on the agenda, but you don't. We do. I, we do have someone working on it. But why is it on the agenda here saying that we need to look at it tonight? You didn't. Summit. You didn't tell me if you already if you already yes. have it. Someone you don't need to put it on the agenda. You said that about the all the bank statements you wanted. No, here it is. Number four: discussion and possible action to determine the best course of action and further steps to completing the new sewer rates for eighteen nineteen by August first in six weeks. Note: if you have already someone already making progress and currently working on this project, then this item can be we deleted. Do. We have some work okay, I okay. wanted to put it on there to give the board an update. Okay. That's why I put it on the agenda. Because it's something we should all be concerned with. We have somebody working on it. Okay. John Decker said. I to... But I still put it on the agenda so that we as a board can get an update. You just said that John Dickerson couldn't do it. I just got an email from him today saying it might take him weeks. He needs help. Okay, well that's, that's And the true. deadline's not August first, it's July twentieth. Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> So, um, my understanding of when, when this was brought up was, was we, we were still trying to figure out what we are going to do with Joe, okay? And hiring a new, new uh, director really wasn't on the table. I don't know about the interim. Basically, it seemed like, and 
it seemed like you brought this up because we we're going to start hiring somebody. So at that point, I didn't feel it was appropriate. Okay, so that was just my, that's just my take on it, okay? Um, I think at this point right now, Joe's basically no longer functioning, right? He's not. Yeah, and so we need to bring somebody in. Now, as far as this candidate goes, I, I, yeah, he's got some great stuff here. So I don't mind hearing more about him. I don't mind that at all. Um, but all of these things are primarily about um, sewer management. Yeah, sewer plant And management. to, at this point, I do think there is a need for a fire management. Correct. And so, I don't know, possibility of working in tandem or something like that, I don't know. But at this point, I think the need is to get somebody that can respond to the financial matters. Um, and, and that's just the, the only read that I'm getting on this yeah. right now. We do have the open job oh, posted. Yeah. It's posted oh, indeed. And we're getting um, resumes. So it is a posted open <clears throat> recruitment at this time. Okay. Andrew, uh, Dr. Dr. Reed. So my question is, for, for months now, the, the concern has been the fiscal end of the operations. And so I was excited to see his resume with the extensive background on that. I do understand that there is a, a gap still as far as the other side of the job. Can we, we have the city also that knows things that can help us out. Would that be something that we would be able to work with the city to kind of fill those gaps if we have a question on whether a pipe can go in somewhere or if something can happen, would we be able to ask them? Yes, and also we have a contracted engineer, Hydroscience, which we haven't really used a whole lot because Joe was filling that slot. But we do have a contract with them, so we can consult with the engineers of Hydroscience whenever needed. And, and it, that is just an hourly, as needed contract. So, I feel so like whenever we need them, we can turn to them. I feel like Mark would be able to stop the bleeding a little bit and get us patched up enough to get through the process of hiring a full-time general manager and then be able to go from there. But I mean, the fact that we didn't even have a budget for this year, that's, and we're already going into next year, that's concerning to me. We're spending money at an alarming rate. We don't know how much we're supposed to have in reserves. We don't, we, there's a lot that's unknown. And so if we, to me, if the sooner we can get somebody in there, like I said, to stop the bleeding and to move that part forward, the better, because otherwise we have a regular general manager stepping in to complete like, the yeah. utter mess. Mm -hmm. So if we can clean it up a bit before we get to that point, because frankly, I don't know who would want to take the job on right now. So, exactly. I'm thankful Mark is willing to step into this. I'm it's a mess. Kind of checking his crazy on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Have you watched the video? <laughs> there is some pay with this, but it really right. is public it's service. Lot. You know, lot. it really is public service. Um, so I mean, I would I would want to keep moving forward with our search. But like you're saying, you know, getting an auditor going as soon as possible is critical. Being able to at least look at our in-house budget. I know that we don't have a whole lot of room on the city side, but we could at least put our budgets together. So now we are working on that. Yeah. So, so the, those are my that's my twelve cents. Does anyone have any questions for Mark? So. No, I looked at the resume and I did like what I saw. Thank I looked at the resume and what I like is also it's kind of a local guy. Um, and because of that, I feel like you're going to be very accessible, which is really important. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the local. Yeah. Sure. So, <laughs> so what I'm looking for this evening is we don't have a, a formalized contract tonight. Right. What I'm looking for is the word direction on um, hourly rate which um, we discussed and um, what was the final that we were paying Joe? So the last rate we were paying Joe was 135. 
Um, Mark said he would work for 90 per hour. This is again no benefits. Right. Well, I'm just looking yeah. kind of ahead at the next item on the agenda. I realize that there it, there's a lot of gaps to fill, and we would still be spending less money doing that than we had been paying Joe, mm -hmm. right. in my opinion. So, so to me, it's not that huge of a gamble. And right. So I'm looking for um, board consensus on an hourly rate and a board consensus on um, hiring him, <laughs> and a board consensus on how many hours. And I just wanted to talk to the board about that. You know, I could see like maybe in the front end of this, it might be 20 to 30 hours a week, but maybe after we, those calculations are done and the budget's done, it might be five hours a week. I was just gonna ask you. So you've had a chance to kind of look over what the scope of work would be? What I've looked at some, we've had a conversation. I haven't sat down and I think it would have been premature for me to really get Well, the, the reason why I'm asking is it's sure. gonna be kind of you telling us how many hours you think are gonna right. be necessary. Well, also, we can all day say, Okay, no. you get 20 hours, but if that's not going to do it, then it's not going to do it. So. No, I understand that is a perfectly correct question they asked. But I, I don't have, I haven't looked at enough of the materials to say, okay, this will take that and whatever in the state they're in. What's transferable to have cell files? What manually needs and to be done? And are you currently you're working somewhere else right now also? I have uh, some other clients right now. I sued on the Mendocino College Foundation. Oh, foundation, yeah. And, uh, so you couldn't I, be available full time? Pardon me? Would you be available full time? Uh, full time, like, no. I, I, at this point, I mean, I still have those commitments. Uh, so but they're flexible. Like I mean, if it's front loaded and it needs hours, that's fine. There's okay. hours in the week. I don't see as needing full time manager right now. Well, I'm just saying for the first few weeks to right. get things rolling, but right. definitely not. And yeah. Mark and I discussed, you know, maybe it would take 30 hours a week at the front end, but then only five hours a week. And because this is not, um, because how many hours he works, he's not dependent upon that salary for survival. Right. You know, he's willing to work five hours or work 30 hours. You know, whatever kind of the district needs until we um, get through this. I agree with the open-ended concept, but we kind of do need to have something uh, something down, whether it's 20 or 30 hours, just so if it's more than 40, then. <laughs> right. I mean, I, he's obviously he's not going to be working full time, but because I mean that way, there's there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and that's going to allow him to if we say 30, and there's 33 hours in a week that needs to get done. Let him do it. Let's, let's, if we're going to hire it and move forward with it. So I'm a little confused um, because last time we, we wanted to, we, there was a, quest, a request to bring Joe Tate back full time as much as he could full time because of the lawsuit, preparing for the lawsuit. So how much is Mark going to be, would be pulled into the lawsuit? Probably not at all. Then where's all that work? So the attorneys are going to charge us for all that work that well, right now, it's also getting put on Chelsea because 99% of it is public document requests, um, 80,000 documents being delivered, you know, that we've had to produce, things like that. Um, so uh, it's a lot of that has been put on Chelsea and <laughs> she's been able to do very little else. Talking to expert witnesses, talking to forensic accountants, all the time. Yeah. Right. So, but I mean, this wouldn't be a fix for that. So. Right. But no. that's why the next item on the agenda, I need to focus on things that are more important than things that someone else can easily do. Run my errands out of the office so I can be here. Do other things that can easily be done. That I we'll get to the second one. Exactly. So he wouldn't have to work in a lawsuit. Um, <coughs> he background or knowledge to work on the lawsuit, um, you know, and, and it's just that uh, the way Duncan put it, he said that that he needed him full time. Remember, and you said oh, he wanted thirty average. hours a week, yeah, average, and that's that gone now. So that'll, you know, I suppose if if we need certain financial documents, you know, Mark would be the good guy to go to to get those for the lawsuit. So I could see that, but. As far as the whole history Joe had with negotiating and 
meeting with the city and its involvement with the contract. Um, that's not something we're we're, just a, we're a month away from trial. So let's do that. Let's do this to taper off anyway. Okay, so at this point, um, is there any more discussion? Is there any, anyone from the gallery wishing to comment on this item? Yeah. You know, I think the thing to be totally, you know, about my schedule, I am going on vacation that I had planned here in the evening in about a week and a half, and I'll be gone in a couple of weeks. I'm, you know, not ideal, but it's a trip to the East Coast. It's been there a long time. Mm -hmm. So, I just want to. Basically, you would kind of start after July. July, yeah, July. Well, I, could, I have time. Assuming it's up to the board, I have some time next week, and I can definitely dedicate to that. And then I will be back yeah, June, July 4th after the holidays. But we need to have a contract in place before. Um, I well, hopefully that contract will we'll put, we'll put it in place Monday. And I have talked to the city um, about getting together on Tuesday for a budget, um, but just a preliminary go over the budget before we have a joint meeting. And um, hopefully Mark would be on that. One. Yeah, you know, Tuesdays. <laughs> right. Is that actually was, what was what to the question I have? When would this begin? And then you drop the uh, you'd be out on vacation, right? But it would be kind of nice to get somebody. I don't know how you would feel about just coming in and at least just taking a quick glance and see so you can start getting an idea as to what we need to have done. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'd be glad. To. There's always an assessment period, right? It takes time to go through, and, and then you'll need a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Not now. yeah. It's fine. I might get that. And the assessment, you know, that there's that process. And also, that should be better definition to the amount of time that will really be needed. And then there's always the unknown and the unexpected that comes up. But uh, I'm glad to do that before I leave and spend some time. You know, that's the pleasure of the board. My two week vacation is the same time. Yes, it is. Will the joint meeting be after the lawsuit is uh, heard or before? Hopefully, within the next couple. Well, okay. So, the, so once again, uh, we're looking for amount of hours, but we're not really getting any hours. So, are we just, excuse me, talking forty or thirty or? So, Andrea suggested leaving that open, and we're already we're looking at ninety dollars per hour hourly rate. So, right now, I'm looking for a motion from the board to approve. Um, the chair to sign a contract uh, with Mark at $90 an hour, no more than 40 hours per week, is the interim district manager. To begin as soon as Monday. Monday. Yeah, terrific. All right, I move that we allow the chair to start a contract with Mark for no more than 40 hours a week at $90 an hour starting Monday. And running it until the position is filled. Mm. Is there a second to the motion? Right, second. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. 4 0. Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, look forward to working with everybody. I know there's a lot there. Yeah. My God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What for oh, punishment? Yeah. <laughs> you ask me. Yeah. Okay. The second and last item. Uh, number four, discussion and possible action regarding um, part time or extra help, temporary help. And I'm going to give this item to Chelsea to discuss. Um, okay, so I've already told you guys in the last item that I need help because a lot of my focus has gone to the lawsuit, has gone to other things that are really important to getting our job done now as opposed to running my errands to the county, going to pick up a few things at Staples, which takes a while to get there now. <laughs> um, really just anything that he can help with, like we needed, I was gonna have him set up some stuff to have a process for petty cash, instead of just pulling cash and reading receipts, so it would be easier to do our financial stuff. I think that's part of the budget, yeah. Um, organizing their storage room and taking inventory so they don't run out of things that are necessary. Just little things that need to be done that have never been done. Filing a stack of papers that are really big that I haven't had time to touch since I started. 
So just little things that can get done that are really crucial to the ministry. And there's, there's some things that I've wanted done that haven't been done because her time has just been so... I've, I've wanted um, all of us to have an email address, the specific UVSD.org. Mm -hmm. I want, because um, I think it's appropriate for us to keep our um, board communications separate from our private emails, you know. Um, I wanted, we need a district credit card. And that application's never <clears throat> been finished and processed, and we haven't gotten that. That would make, you know, ordering staples and getting it delivered a lot easier than having to go over there. So, um, you know, help that. Help. yeah, so um, I have a list of things on a to-do list which just seem to not be getting done, and it's getting a little frustrating. Um, so this was uh, Chelsea's idea. Um, can he help with the inputting the information once John Dickerson gets the list uh, straightened out with all the names? Inputting the that list. would be something that I would do. Or it would free up time for you to do that then? Yes. So I would give him things that I could easily show him how to do, to do, and I would be doing those kind of things that are more important to pretty much our overall picture. If that gets done incorrectly and there's a bunch of errors and it's not done on time, that's going to make us look really bad. So I'm going to try my hardest to focus on that, focus on things with the lawsuit, and focus on things that I'm more capable of doing at a time like that. And my to-do list. And Jesus' to-do list. <laughs> so I have a couple questions. First, uh, are we going to talk about salary and hours? Um, yes. Okay. Second thing is, um, it sounds like we already have a candidate place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there a reason why we couldn't solicit uh, mental league staffing or attempt? So, um, Vic has agreed to work for $15 an hour, uh, part-time with Chelsea, though, so that would be between 16 and 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. we, we can't get a better deal through a temp agency. Well, the other thought that would be with a, with a temp agency, you're, you, there is no guarantee of, quote, reliability with a temp agency. Mm -hmm. And would it, the position that we're looking for, would it, that person would have to be reliable? And uh, That's true. temp agencies are really good for filler, but if a person's becoming, if their job is real specific, then mm -hmm. he's... And he's free. He's um, here for, I talk to him. He's here for summer. Um, he goes to college in San Diego. And um, so he has no other commitments right now. So if I needed something, and I wasn't here, he could address it if um, I have another commitment at 1 o'clock till 5. And if he, if I needed him to do something that was really crucial to get done that day or something, he could help me out past hours if needed. So, it's, and this is just extra help, part-time extra help? Yep. Just to get us through. Just summer. How many hours do I need? 16 My hours. hours. So when I'm here, he's here. The other thing is, um, you know, our office is small, and when you're in there with someone, you're very close to that person. <laughs> so I like um, the fact that Chelsea knows Vic and has a relationship with him and is comfortable with him. And I think that's very important um, for Chelsea being in this particular job setting. You like yes. Yeah. So, um, is there anyone from the public wishing to comment on this item? Are there any? Would you like to yeah, I speak for say, yourself? Yeah. <laughs> We're That's talking awesome. as if you're not here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is very interesting. I've never been in a setting like this. So it's very interesting to witness and be a part of. Um, as far as the reliability thing, like you were talking about going to the temp agencies, um, I've been in the valley and I'm close. I mean, Google, it's, it seems far, but it's not too far to get over here. Um, when I was here last was um, over the summer and into winter last year, and I was working for Savings Bank in Mendocino County, and so they can speak to our reliability as well. Um, I was one of their Chapman's um, customer service representatives, so I was anywhere from um, Ukiah branches to Laytonville, to Lakeport, and I was always there on time. Really good at being able to follow the rules. Do you know Excel? Yeah. 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 Y
Excel and Word. Yeah. Very well. And also, too, like you were talking about setting up emails and stuff, I'm very tech savvy and I learned very quickly. So, that, none of that would be a problem for me. The other thing I think it, it is important that you have an additional person in the office. H hasn't there been a couple of times where it's been, um, for lack of a better word, like we'll call it scary. I mean, yeah. there's been circumstances I, there's, where you're wishing that you weren't in, the, in that room. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of times the district manager is not there. Right. So I'm there by myself. That's why I do it. When I first thought of him, he's re he's reliable. He's flexible. He doesn't have any other commitments, so he can be there when I'm there. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, that door is open. No matter how hard I need to concentrate when there's noise outside, that door stays open. Because I don't like when people come in there, when I'm in there alone, especially, and, and shut the door. Mm -hmm. I just am not comfortable. It's a very small space. Mm -hmm. um, and she actually had an incident a couple weeks ago yeah, that was very uncomfortable and very scary. Mm -hmm. And I think I like the idea that the, there's the two of you in tandem and that the hours are the same. Yeah. I would like to kind of keep it that way, yeah, only absolutely. because then it alleviates any uh, mm -hmm. complications. And he, as well, he's majoring in architecture with a minor in business admin, and he said, oh, that, that's cool that I can work with you with your hours, 8 to 12, sometimes I stay here later if I have something I need to finish up, because he said, oh, that will make it where I can maybe shadow an architect while I'm here, after that. After that. After, that. After, that. <laughs> After that, I can put you in touch with those people. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Does anyone have any questions for Vic or any board, further board discussion? So, uh, when school starts up next fall, that's it. I suppose by that time we'll also have we'll get some better variants as to where. Oh, I thought we would have the. Yeah. Yes, right. Exactly. So. Okay. So I'd like to entertain a motion to hire Vic as part-time help at $15 an hour. I'll make a motion to hire Vic, uh, work with Chelsea, um, fit, uh, 15 an hour for 16 to 20 hours a week. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. No opposed? Okay, so we're going to adjourn our special meeting at 6.34 p.m. And I will see you all next week in a regular meeting, which will be much longer. <laughs> <laughs>